Hey yo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction and review as normal of 12 Beast, and this time it's 12 Beast Chapter 15. And um, man, I'm really excited for this. It came out yesterday, the uh, English scanlation, and I didn't have time to read it till today, and I probably won't have time to post it until tomorrow. But uh, either way, I'm really hyped for this one because I just, I love 12 Beast. This is like, it's, it's actually like... I was expecting to like make the most out of any situation, kind of like it unless it was really bad, and I didn't think it'd be bad, so I was expecting to really like this series, but I was not expecting to like it this much. I like, this honestly has grown to be up there with as enjoyable or actually more enjoyable to me than Fairy Tale at this point. Like, this is a really enjoyable action shonen with a little bit of fan service. Like, I was expecting it to be too fan servicey or too generic or something, but no, it's actually it's actually surprised me with how good 12 Beasts actually is. So without buck guessing it anymore, let's just uh, get into reading and discussing 12 Beasts chapter 15. So uh, and of course with the live reactions, I've not read this before. We're just gonna read it the first time and then discuss it for a little bit. Um, so we see Indra. One of the twelve Gigas, first of the six divine generals, wait, first, one of the twelve Gigas, first of the six divine generals, Indra appears. Six? There are twelve divine generals, that's the twelve generals. Okay, the first of the six, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, but um, yeah. We have Indra, one of the twelve, all I need to know, Indra, one of the twelve generals. Chapter 15, The Young Boy's Ordeal. Man, the art in this is just so good. Indra looks so cool as well. Look at this page. We have a full page spread to Indra just running through the Fishman City, busting through these buildings. Yo, and then it roars again. Indra's mouth is so badass. Cut. And, um... <laughs> A stereo is yelling and holding her ears while um, it looks like the call of the roar is sort of like blowing back against Data. Quick, get the ships out, says the fish, fish girl. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter what we have to do, we'll stop him. If he destroys the lighthouse, it'll be all over. I really, ah, I really like this fish girl. Like, I hope she joins the group. What shall we do, Ada-san, says a stereo. If you don't want to die, don't butt in. He's thinking back to the uh, fisherman. Ada-san, says the stereo. Yo, this art is so good. You shouldn't have any duty or obligation to fight for those subhumans. Then... Then you'll run away, says Stila behind him. Yo, and Stila looks cool too. I like Stila. I just like Fish Girl more. Stila-san, why are you here, says the stereo. That is trivial. The question is, Ada-kun, why are you here? Yo, dropping wisdom. <laughs> For what reason do you fight? Up in, Since up until now you were being attacked by them, you needed to fight them in order to live. But that's different now. If you attack the Giga, or if you attack the Gigas now, you'll be undoubted. You'll be undoubtedly targeted by them, you know. And the possibility of you returning back to Earth will keep decreasing. What will you do? Yo, I really like Stila. I do. If they could both join, I mean, I wasn't expecting both Joya and uh, Arrow to join since they're both Arby's. Will you fight regardless, says Stila? Gamer exploded it, and my Gigas attacked once, says a uh, fisherman watching, but that lighthouse still won't go down. Even though the battleship fleet won't be able to come if the whirlpool doesn't completely disappear. And he seems to be gritting his teeth, and then he notices something. Yo, it's Joya. Looking badass with his giant-ass spear. A harpy, why are you here? Fuck, are you a damn seagull? You're bothering my fishing. <laughs> I love the fisher dude as well. He's a really good bad guy. And then Joya throws the spear. We haven't seen her in a few chapters. What's with that harpoon? You're an eyesore, seagull. Yo, and it looks like she actually pierced into Indra's, I, skin? I don't know if you could really call it skin. Damn, doesn't matter how soft the belly may be, it's, it's bound, that's bound to fail, says, um, uh, 
Julia. Sorry, I was just taking in this art for a second. And then she notices um, something and the alarm starts beeping at uh, in Indra. I'm assuming that's where... Uh, I'm assuming the helm or the control room of Indra is where the fisherman is right now. Yo, and we see the fish girl on all the ships. That's a really, really cool panel as well. I love the way the shading is. I, re I really like that. A counterattack from the fish people. Will they be able to hold their ground as expected? Arrow, what are you doing? Hurry up and bring the ninja, Joya thinks. Ada-san! And then we hear yelling, <laughs> like coming towards Ada, Asterio, and Stila. Big problem. The Gigas is trying to destroy the lighthouse. If things continue like this, the fleet will attack this underwater cemetery of a town. And she's flapping her arms around. Ada-san, for now, let's just go to the Gigas. He's really huge, but if it, if it's Ada-san, Ada I'm sure. Sorry, tripping over my words. And then he and Steeler are just standing in silence. What happened, Ada-san? Which son? Or which son too? What were you talking about? The escape from this town, says Steela. Eh? What are you talking about? Ada-san wouldn't do something like running away. He protected the harpies and saved the minotaurs. There's no way Ada-san abandoned the fish people, is there? Right, er, right when he, he saved us harpies, even though we made him... Yeah, right when he saved us harpies. Even though we made him run away by himself, he specially came back to save us. Wasn't it just because he couldn't afford to lose you who had brought him to this world, says Stila? Besides, you're still, you're still here, outsiders, says the fishman. This is our battle. Something, or not something strangers should meddle in, says a bunch of the fishmen. Even if you aren't wanted, will you still risk your life for their sake, says Stila? What are you doing? Let's go. Yes, sir. And they start running off. That's... But Ada-san, says Aero. Aero-chan. You shouldn't ask Ada-san to do the impossible, says Asterio, putting her hand on his shoulder. Terio-san, and she just <laughs> holds him up against her hooves. <laughs> Hasn't Ada-san work, worked hard until now? He saved both the Minotaurs and the Harpies. He saved ourselves, so it's obvious he'll save others. I think that way of thinking is wrong. That's true, but we already saved two species, so I think that's enough. It doesn't matter what he settles for. I won't blame him, says Asterio. But, says um, Eru looking down, interesting way of thinking from Asterio. What will I do? What should I do? In games, saving them at this time is obviously the right answer. Or at least, it shouldn't be the route for a bad end. But this isn't a game. Far from it. It's not even a place where you can use common sense and morals. Even if you aren't wanted, will you still risk your life? Ada-san wouldn't do something like run away. It doesn't matter what he settles for. And he's rem remembering what everybody told him. I. And then he clenches his fist in the gauntlet. Okay. Is that actually it? Okay, that may have been one of the shorter and less content-filled chapters. Um... But still, I don't think it was bad. Like, it was still definitely worth a good 7 out of 10 to me. Maybe 8, or maybe 7.5 out of 10. It was still good. The art especially is just freaking really great in this manga. Um, other than that, though, like, it was a little bit short. I liked seeing Jawea and Arrow make their way back into the story. Um, there was a lot of good stuff. So, I'm heading back to the first page. Still getting there. And then we'll discuss all the pages from uh, the first to the end really quick like we usually do with these. And then that'll be it for the video. So uh, let's get back. I'm almost there. Come on. It's taking a while. Okay. Oh man. The, the art with um, I think Indra particularly like not just this chapter but every chapter. The art with Indra has been so great. So at the beginning I love the like blacked out shading we have for Indra. The sort of fog around the city really builds the hype, and Indra's just freaking huge. And then moving on, we get the full page of him crashing through the buildings. Again, badass Indra. The roar on page three is incredible. Like, I just... It's so hype. It is the hypest looking thing. It is such a good bad guy. And then we actually have that fish girl running off and garnering the support later on we see. 
and it's interesting to me like that she's doing so much I really want this fish girl to join up with us I think it'd be great but uh, I just I don't know like Stila I'm like okay I'd like her to join up with us but I know it really seems like she will with the fish girl it doesn't as much seem like she will which is maybe why I hope she will even more so I like the how the fisherman's words too how he like sort of just put down Ada and then said you know why are you even fighting you don't have to fight I think it's interesting how the bad guy's words have affected Ada. Um, and then same with Stila asking him what he's going to do. It's interesting because uh, like he could leave, he could escape, and this is the most dire and deadly situation probably because they are surrounded by the warships and Indra is here, one of the 12 generals. So it's interesting that when his back is against the wall in the most deadly situation and in a situation unlike the harpy situation where he could reasonably escape and not face any long-term consequences from escaping compared to the consequences he would face for staying and fighting even if he won um it's interesting to see given those choices do you do what's right even though it's way harder or do you do what's easy and won't really hurt you that much in the long run even though it's a bad thing to do, leaving them behind. Or at the very least, it's not the right thing to do. So I think it's interesting to see that. Um, again, I really like seeing Fisherman again, even though for not very long. Same with Joya. Joya, waifu, I freaking love her. But um, again, not much uh, dialogue or character development or anything for Joya lately, or in a decent while at least. Um, we see the fishmen trying to put up their sort of um, defense at least, and we're hopefully going to see how that defense tries to get started next episode. I'm assuming they'll get their butts kicked for a bit before Ada jumps in all heroically, but um, yeah. So from there we jump to, uh, we see Ada's group again, and um, Arrow going up to him. And it's cool to see how Arrow is like the moral hey, I'm sure it'll be fine, you have to do it, you have to save them voice. Then we have the voice of a stereo that's like, either way it's your choice, the like freedom sort of voice. Or then Stila's sort of devil's advocate voice where she's like, you know, you don't have to save them. You could, of course, but they don't want you here anyway. And you have so much to lose from saving them, because even if you win, then the uh, kingdom will certainly be after you. So uh, what do you do in this situation? Do you do what's right? Or do you do what's easy? So again, really cool sort of conflict in the way they were showing it there. And uh, yeah, just the art as well with the characters looks really nice. Um, I liked the one panel a lot where it was the fishmen boats and then Indra silhouetted in the background. And I like again the art where um, Ada is thinking to himself and we see Indra silhouetted in the background with Ada looking on. and just him sweating while thinking about what everyone's told him. I liked both of those. And again, last panel awesome, but it doesn't really lead us anywhere yet. So, um, and I like too that we actually zoom in on the gauntlet and the shinobi carved in, so really cool. I really liked this one, but uh, not as exciting as a lot of the others have been. So because of that, I'm only giving it like maybe a 7. Yeah, a 7 seems fair. Seven, um, I don't know, let me think of something on the spot. Seven, uh, cute little fish girls out of ten. I, I don't know. That was really a kind of crappy one. But either way, like if you guys like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of this chapter and what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more 12 Beasts, Mon Musu, One Piece, and a bunch of other stuff. And, um, I started Boku no Hero Academia as well, so subscribe for that if you want. And I'm doing a read-through of it until I catch up. Four chapters a week till I catch up, and then I'll do videos like this for it weekly when it comes out. And uh, that's it. Follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there on stuff. And that's it. So I said that's it a bunch. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.